guys welcome back in today's video we are going to close out our January budget and I'm gonna walk you through step by step on what I do to close out a month so in front of me I have my January monthly budget in this area I track my debt and right here is where I track my savings so in order for us to start, we start with this page first. Our actual was $12,217.79. So, that means that we were over by 4000 seven hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy nine cents in regards to our income it's combined I don't break up what my husband brings in and what I bring in separate we combine our money and we pay our bills together he has a full-time job I have a full-time job I also have a small business that I operate from home that also brings in money and then anytime you guys purchase anything using my links in the description box I also get commission off of those purchases and I just want to say thank you because every little bit adds up it's just supporting this channel and it's supporting this journey that I am on with my family additional paid towards debt this is any automatic payments that clear our account to my husband's truck this includes any amount that is on top of what we pay towards our family vehicle and this is the amount that we include from anything we put into our debt snowball envelope this amount is going to include anything that we rolled over from our cash spending envelopes and that amount comes out to one thousand three hundred and nine dollars and eighty three cents this is what we paid towards debt for the month of january this is where i will break down our monthly budget so our income was twelve thousand two hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy nine cents and here is where we're going to subtract our expenses and what we put towards debt let's go ahead and add that up so our monthly expenses were ten thousand nine hundred and six dollars and eighty 
six cents plus the thirteen oh nine eighty three so we put twelve thousand two hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty nine cents towards expenses and our debt combined so when we take our income of twelve thousand two hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy nine cents minus twelve thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and sixty nine cents that gives us one dollar and ten cents in our bank for cushion this will not stay as cushion this will just be thrown into our savings now it is time for us to face reality of what we look like as far as our goals and achievements that we set out for ourselves in january so this looks like a crazy mess one of you guys reminded me that the 19th needed to be a no spend and then i had liam and then i think it was rachel remind me that the third was a no spend i went ahead and did that and thank you guys so much you guys are really good at letting me know whenever i forget a no spend for myself I am always double checking my numbers, but I need to get that good when I'm tracking my no spins because I'd be robbing myself of no spins sometimes. And yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna motivate me <laughs> when I'm doing that. So I wanted to close out the refinance. That was a go. So let's go ahead and check that off. I needed to file quarterly and yearly taxes for my small business accounts that I have. It was for the 940, 941, 1120 corporate tax like payment that I had to make for one of my accounts that I manage. Um, actually three now. And I did those. So yes, that's a good one. And then I wanted to start the $1 and $5 challenge and we did. And I wanted to start saving all my coins or continue to save my coins and we did. So eight no spins. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven no spins. So that is awesome. And I would have been two spend two no spins short of eleven if you guys hadn't caught those other. I wanted to stay on budget. And according to this we did we were one dollar and ten cents under budget so i'm happy about that work out three times a week or er, that did not happen i hurt my wrist i couldn't do anything for about two weeks so unless i could just go do everything leg day machine but even then i was like i'm not gonna risk it because i would take my brace off and then think i'm like all good and to go and then i would just hurt it some more or just irritate it and then I would regret it the next day track my macros for me if I'm not working out I'm not motivated to eat right I'm not motivated to eat healthier we do eat healthy but we can clean it up more like we don't have to do pizza and we don't have to do those McDonald days like we did over here <laughs> you know what I'm saying so as far as tracking macros I did for like half the month and then I stopped so i notice for me if i work out i'm motivated to track all right so this is what our month looks like we hit some goals we missed some goals and that's fine that's how it's going to be sometimes and you know what that's all right that is all right because we are always moving forward and that's what counts i wanted to finish reading the warded man this is I think a nine or seven book series and I'm still not done with that series so that I didn't finish any books I can't check that off that completes our January budget closeout that completes our January goals update and if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below if you are starting out your debt-free journey 
let me know in the comments below i love to watch budget videos i love to watch cash stuffing videos and i want to support you all on your journey as well and i will see you all in the next video bye guys Thank you.